Good evening, you are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos receives a written message from His Highness the Emir of the State of Qatar. The Research Council signs 15 agreements with Colleges of Applied Sciences and Technology related to joining the National Technology Transfer Network. And the scientific field research is conducted on Step Eagle in the Governorate of Dufar. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos received a written message from His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of the State of Qatar. The message was handed over to His Excellency Sayyid Khalid bin Hilal bin Saud Al Busaidi, Minister of the Diwan of Royal Court, when he received His Excellency Ali bin Fahad Falah Al Hajri, Ambassador of Qatar to the Sultanate. During the meeting, cordial talks were exchanged and bilateral relations between the two countries were reviewed. The Research Council signed 15 agreements with Colleges of Applied Sciences and Technology. According to the agreements, the colleges will join the National Technology Transfer Network in addition to the establishment of technology transfer offices in the College of Technology in Al Musan'a and Suhar College of Applied Sciences. The Research Council stressed that establishment of such centers will help the students and researchers in innovation aspects as well as the stages of their research. They will also contribute in the registration of patent and, and intellectual rights. The first stage of the third edition of Government Efficiency Program kicked off today. The program, which is implemented by the Ministry of Civil Service, aims to strengthen capabilities and efficiency of government senior personnel, which will contribute in enhancing performance of government units. The program discusses strategic management in the governmental sector as the Sultanate works on 2040 vision and Tamfid program. The program comes within the government's approach to enable the private sector to implement economic projects and attract foreign investments to the country. The Shura Council forwarded the draft law of unified system organizing the activity of companies working in the field of express mail and parcels for Gulf Cooperation Council countries, as well as statistics and information draft law to the State Council. During the fifth ordinary session of the fourth annual round, the Council discussed the reply of the Council of Ministers on the revision of funding policies of scientific researchers. It also discussed the agreement of aerial services between the government of the Sultanate and Georgia, in addition to reviewing the agreement related to commercial services among the Arab countries. The members of the Council were also briefed on the reply of the Chairman of Board of Directors of Omani Wastewater Services Company, Haya, regarding the odors emitted from wastewater. They, they were also briefed on the reply of His Excellency the Minister of Tourism on Maritime Tourism Services in Al Ashkara. The session was headed by His Excellency Khalid bin Hilal al mawri Chairman of the Shura Council. The main committee of Shura Council ninth term elections held its first meeting at the General Diwan of the Ministry of Interior today under the chair of His Excellency the Under Secretary of the Interior Ministry. The meeting discussed a number of topics listed on the agenda and tasks to be carried out by the committee during the elections as well as all matters that facilitate its work in accordance with the specified prerogatives. The promotional campaign Invest in Dukum kicked off today in the Indian capital city of New Delhi amid wide attendance of Indian businessmen. During the opening speech of the campaign, His Excellency Shri C. R. Choudhury, Ministry of State for Commerce and Industry, affirmed his country's interest to strengthen economic ties with the Sultanate. His Excellency the Minister of State for Commerce and Industry praised the friend rela relations binding the Sultanate and India. He as well expressed his aspiration that the promotional campaign will contribute in strengthening economic partnership, commercial exchange and investments between the two countries. The two-day campaign comes within the efforts exerted by the Special Economic Zone Authority in Dukum to attract investments to the region.
Her Excellency Gabriela Cuevas Baron, President of the Interparliamentary Union, Chairperson of the Foreign Relations Committee in the Chamber of Deputies of Mexico, paid a visit today to Sultan Armed Forces Museum. Her Excellency the President of the Interparliamentary Union got acquainted with the manuscripts and historical miniatures that reflect the Omani architecture. She was also briefed on the history of the Sultan's Armed Forces Museum and its development during the reign of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. Still to come in our news bulletin. A non-governmental organization in Baghdad transformed an old bus into a mobile school for dozens of displaced children. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The Ministry of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources organized the Investment Opportunities Forum 2019. The event was presided over by His Highness Sayyid Taymour bin As'ad bin Tariq Al Saeed, Assistant G Secretary General for Communications at the Research Council. More details in the following report by Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi. In fulfillment of its role to promote investment, and stimulate private sector and businessmen towards enhancing the development process and upgrading the level of municipal and water services, the Ministry of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources organized the Investment Opportunities Forum 2019. The view of the Ministry to encourage the SMEs to enhance the uh, economy, national economy, to create more uh, uh, job opportunities for unemployed. Of course, it's scattered over all the governates and the selected uh, sites is actually uh, carefully selected to give more incentives for the investors. And we hope this by the end of this month, the ministry is going to announce uh, the method and the way so that all investors can uh, involve in this uh, in investment sites. At the forum, 10 sites were announced for investment. The sites are distributed over nine wilayas across the Sultanate, including two sites in Muscat Governorate, two in South al Batina Governorate, one in North al Batina Governorate, one in al Buraymi Governorate, one in al Zahira Governorate, one in al Dakhliya Governorate, and two in South al Sharqiya Governorate. What we saw here, there are some good lands that we can uh, invest also. So I think it will be uh, also economically supporting the Oman economy, so these, all these lands. So we are interested in some of those lands, and we choose some of them even today also. We are going to submit our proposals. The forum also included discussions on the details of the investment sites, the investment conditions and the possible projects that would have a positive impact on the development process in the Sultanate, in addition to the future investment aspirations of the Ministry of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources. For the Sultanate of Amman Television, Saleh Mukhalfan al-Rahbi, Muscat. With the aim of preserving wildlife in the Sultanate Office for the Conservation of Environment in cooperation with a team from Europe conducted field scientific research about Step Eagle in the Governorate of the Far. The research studies the flyways of Step Eagle and the reasons behind the decline of this species of eagle. The research also aims to collect scientific information about this predatory bird. The step eagle is considered one of the migratory birds which visit the Sultanate between Kharif and spring seasons. The team succeeded in putting tracking devices on 12 eagles. The devices are linked to satellites which will help in gathering information about the flying routes of this bird.
After more than two weeks, the Ministry of Health, in cooperation with Muscat Municipality and bodies concerned, concluded the campaign to get rid of Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. 53 cases of dengue fever were recorded in the Sultanate. In this regard, the field works of Muscat campaign for Aedes aegypti elimination covered a number of wilayas in the governorates of Muscat. The campaign included visiting public and private institutions for inspection and providing health and prevention awareness. The Oman Journalist Association organized a seminar on the state's general budget that also shed light on economic aspects and global oil market. The seminar reviewed a number of topics related to the state's budget in terms of expenditure, revenues and government efforts towards the economic diversification programs and the targeted sectors. The seminar included a dialogue session that also shed light on the government procedures related to the decline in oil prices and investment opportunities in various sectors such as tourism industry, logistics, mining, agriculture, fisheries and energy. The session also focused on the role of the private sector in the upcoming period among other topics. The Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs organized We All Are Oman caravan in a Nisin bark within the activities of Muscat Festival 2019. It aimed to strengthen the values of love, harmony and citizenship among the children, in addition to spread the culture of social integration in various wilayas of the Sultanate. The activities varied among cultural com competitions and awareness lectures as some residents living in Oman shed light on their experiences of coexistence and tolerance in the Sultanate. In a forgotten slum in the southeast of Baghdad, the capital of Iraq, a glimmer of hope shines in the hearts of ma and minds of a dozens of displaced children as a non-governmental organization turned a large old bus into a mobile school. More details in the following report. The school bus, cheerfully referred to as the Hope Bus, had its seats removed and replaced with 20 school desks for as many as 50 pupils and was also furnished with colorful curtains, toys, a television set and a blackboard. Children studying at this school are aged from 6 to 10, and most of them were street kids who had never had access to a formal education before. My name is Psara Basim. Before coming to this bus school, I have never gone to school before. The bus idea was proposed by Firas al a lawyer and the head of the Gate of Justice, the NGO that operates the school bus. Firas said at first he thought over how to have something movable to the children. A traditional school cannot, definitely, as he considered something with wheels, the bus. Actually, how can I have something move and go to the children? The schools, we cannot take one school for, from many places, but maybe something can have wheels. So the bus maybe can provide them with, uh, you know, a little space to be children. The children in the bus use the same textbooks as the government schools. They are taught reading, writing, arithmetic, science and English. They also receive psychological support and practice sports and artistic activities in the field where the bus stops. I can read and write English and Arabic now, and I have made new friends here especially the teachers. I want to be a teacher in the future and teach other children at school. The NGO has reached an agreement with the Iraqi Education Department to let children transfer to public schools after they finish the eight months preliminary course on the school bus. The organization also plans to open 12 more mobile schools across the provinces liberated from the Daesh militant group. Those children will be something dangerous in the future. Those children will be victims of the terrorist groups. Those children never be deal, uh, treated uh, with, uh, with love. When they feel there is love in this past, they be so eager, have a motivation 
to learn. In the future, the Hope Bus will move to other areas to plant new seeds of education for more groups of Iraqi children. Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over most of the governorates with chances of low clouds and fog late at night and early morning over the governorate of Baremi. Winds will be northwesterly, light to moderate. Seas will be slight to moderate with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos receives a written message from His Highness the Emir of the State of Qatar. The Research Council signs 15 agreements with Colleges of Applied Sciences and Technology related to joining the National Technology Transfer Network. And if scientific field research is conducted on Step Eagle in the Governorate of Bufar. With that, we'll come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. It's good night.